This is how the Insight software looks when you have plugged in your USB cable. And now let's attach the service port to the HMD60. And now it's detecting the device and loading data and it immediately starts logging. Okay, today we want to do a calibration. So we select the calibrate option from the sprocket and answer yes for entering the calibration mode. Okay, here you can see some calibration data, but today we want to do a two-point RH adjustment. Here you can now see the uh, graphs showing the uh, device stabilizing, and you can see the humidity and temperature values. So the, you can use that to, to rescale the humidity and temperature uh, scales. And now what you have to do is wait for the device to stabilize in the lithium chloride salt chamber. It looks like the humidity value has pretty much stabilized now. Let's enter the reference value for the lithium chloride, which is 11.3 and the software will immediately log the uh, latest measurements data for the measurement. Okay, we're done in the uh, low end. Now let's do the span calibration or adjustment. Let's move to the 75% pot. And now we typically again have to wait for 10, 15, 20 minutes in some, some cases. And uh, as before, it's uh, usually good to clear the chart after a while so that you can really see if there is still some trend or if the uh, transmitter has already stabilized in the new condition. Okay, let's wait for a while again. Now it looks like the humidity reading has stabilized. Let's enter the reference value for sodium chloride. The software will capture the latest measurement results. And now you just activate the adjustments and then once you press that, then the changes are entered to the transmitter. If you decide that uh, you want to revert to factory adjustments, there's a button for that, so no worries if you made some kind of error. But let's activate the adjustment. Yes. Okay, now it's reading 75.3. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, we are done with the adjustment.